What's up everyone? This will be a quick how-to on setting up double shear shock mounts using our big bore shock tabs. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to drill and tap your big bore shock tabs. Just like our RABS tabs, through the smaller hole, that's for your M3 tappable screws. Um, and then you're going to run your M3 tap through those holes. Then you can run your M3 hardware through there. So before we set this up on the truck, what we're going to do is take a rod end ball whatever is going to be the one you use on your shock, um, set that onto that screw, and then, very important, use a washer on the other side. That way, when you're done welding this, it doesn't have too tight of a gap, because when you weld, it has a tendency to shrink the metal, um, and then you'll be struggling to try to put the rod end of the shock into the mount. So after you get everything tightened up, um, so you have your rod end and a washer in there, then you can slide it onto your mounting piece, in this case, this is how we're going to mount this up. Uh, and you do have to kind of think about this ahead of time, where you're going to place the shock so you can slide these tabs onto the piece before you weld it. And this is going to get located right here on this buggy. So the angle is going to try to match the angle of the shock when the tab is in the right spot there. So now I'm going to get the shock out of the way and then set up the fixture to hold this in place while we weld it. Okay, so a couple things I did. Um, this height matched this distance, so, whoops, matched this height matched this distance. So I ended up using that to hold the axle in place and get the tire out of the way. That way I have more room to set things up and weld. And then as far as setting up the fixture, I have the shock out of the way now. But I set this up so the shock's at the angle that I want it, um, and the bar that goes across kind of is on the same plane there. And then we have this fixture holding it in place. So what we're going to do now is tack it here and tack it here. And then we'll move the fixture out of the way. Set the shock back up in place so we have full compression set up at this spot right now. So basically we want the tire and the pan kind of right where they're bottoming out together. So I can weld this and you guys can see. So now that that bar is tacked, it is hot. This is usually where I burn myself, is trying to touch things too soon. So let's get our nest fixture and our ladder out of the way. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna remove the screw that's in here so we can get the right angle. I'm not remove the screw, but I'm gonna remove the rod and ball put the shock back in there don't forget to add the washer it's very important that you have that space otherwise you're not going to be able to get your shock back into your mount which is counterproductive now both sides of these are threaded they don't have to be um, sometimes i'll go back and i will drill out one side so just the end is threaded like I will probably set this up so I'll drill this out with the 1 8 after it's set up there we go so now we're gonna get that forward angle on the shock let's rotate this so, you can see it so we'll get that forward angle on the shock now drop that down put that up so back to compression ah. so we get for moving it um, so basically what I'm looking forward to is having that shock at kind of a forward angle to try to get that look. So as much forward as we can get it, but not so much that it binds when it travels down. So it's going to be about the middle of this piece here. That's why this piece is cut the way that it is. Uh, so now we have this set, and then we're going to tack. Whoops. Once, <laughs> once I figure out exactly where I'm going to get it, I'm going to take a measurement so I can duplicate it on the other side. But once we get the angle correct, we're going to tack the tab to the bar that we just added. And with this fixture here, that will keep the axle down. And what you can do is kind of hold it in place and you can cycle the suspension to kind of check and see if you have things in the right spot. So that's where I think I want it. So too far forward, and I think it'll pull back and it'll mess up the suspension travel a little bit. So I think that's gonna end up being about right. Just kind of hold it still, cycle the suspension, make sure there's no bind. 
go back a little bit further, see if that's any different. No. So I think that's going to be where that is. Um, I'm going to take a measurement, a distance from the back of the B pillar to that front tab, write that down on my table probably because that's usually where I make my notes. I can erase them later and then we'll duplicate that on the other side. Tacked up, we uh, can see how the buggy's gonna sit. Obviously, we still have to add a battery and we have to mount all of our electronics, but now you can see progress on our 10 car build. I think it looks pretty good with these element grabbers. I guess got a better look than those. Not so hot. This looks good.